sun shines brighter on this side of the university. Father Saturnino Orios University's On the Sunny Side is now on its second season. We bring you stories from our students, faculty, and the Orion community. We aim to spread hope and positive vibes to get us through these trying times. Tune in at 10.30 in the morning every Wednesday at FSU's Facebook pages and YouTube channel. Don't forget to always choose to be on the sunny side. Welcome to another Wednesday dose of happiness and positive vibration. My name is Ronald Alan H. Butalid and... I am Anne Monique and we aim to continue to give you love and light through meaningful conversations. Welcome to... On, On the, the Sunny Side, Side Season 2! Oh, man, to, eh. Okay, na to. Yeah, so good hey, good morning, morning everyone. Good morning, Orians. Good morning, sa to mga viewers. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning, and me. I miss you. I miss you, Plastic sir. Plastic, to. Uh, uh, so shout out sa to mga viewers diha sa tong 551 viewers. Ang yes. naa sa ato naguban sa ato karon. Oh, giving out sila sa ato. Okay, so um, kwan pata ka ng you days fever pata yes, and me. Sir. Uh, because very, very of true. our shirt. So, since kami man ang nag-open sa University Days last last week, yes. so kami po ang mag-close. So, with that, we would like to congratulate everyone sa mga winners during the yes. competition. Yes, no? Especially ang atong overall champion ng nursing program. Nga, amazing! Like, congratulations, congratulations. nursing. Congratulations. Kasi second. Ang second na to is ang atong accountancy program. Congratulations, AP and yes, ang, Natay Tay. Natay Tay sa atong third place, which is ang business administration program. And of course, my home, the arts and, and science program. Congratulations. And the rest of the programs can participate. Yes, kay especially po, uh, uh, Especially po ang atong mga faculty and staff. Yes, nga, nga nag-participate nag sa atong... Nag ka mm. sila. O, yun, yeah. Shout out po sa atong mga... Uh, students, atong viewers from 
the basic education, education and the Puebla Senior High program School. Program ko basic education program. O mag-program nga po na sila. Ah, Sige, oh, ka na na siya. Sige. And of course, congratulations to our student leaders who also did their best no? na makadeliver o U-Days nga online. Kaya grabe ba yung kalisod, di ba? Dili lalim nga mag... Mugna og mga activities nga online. Ug dili pud lalim nga maghawid og microphone nga wa kay madunggan. Oh, joy ka na mo lang mig ana dire. Oh, okay lang me ana. So, And of course, sir, we would like to give big shout out no sa atong mga viewers karon sa comments. So sige sila comment karon. Good morning. Good morning. Good, good morning, morning sa inyong tanan. Tanan. A -A -A. Good morning sa atong mga viewers yes. from the uh, Senior high school, sa mga students, yes. sa Pueblos, because our topic is in line with our discussion. Yes, and ako pong mga classmates sa uh, life and skills na subject naman sa guidance, no? <clears throat> Ato day to, ding assessment kay so, tan mo di hahantun mahuman. Nyaing na ako ninyo, kung sa inyo natunan, para na po ko yung makomment ito. So, kinsa mo na sala sa guidance? Mahuman ako ninyo na sala to, uy, Ana. So, so sala siya sa... Ah, masala. Si Sir Carl. Shout out, Sir Carl. <laughs> Shout out sa atong uh, mga guidance counselor, si Sir Carl. And si Ma'am Jocelyn. Ma'am Jo, salamat kay for the snacks. Uh, okay. So, si Dr. Gamos. So, Napun Sir, wala ta ka nakitaan sa you days. Wala ta po ka nakita sa you days. Huh? Delete ka active sa you days. <laughs> nga no. Ako may teacher. Ako yung una mga tana. Ay, lagi siya. Ay, sir, I was active man. Hindi nga lang nasubmit. Uh, ah, nasubmit. sa asa man itong uh, competition? <laughs> asa nga category? Sa so, ka look alike na competition. Kaya baka sir, we planned it uh. September. 14 pa lang. Tapos, Humana, as in, ready to submit na. Tapos wala siya wala na-submit. Na, okay. Wala siya na-submit sa dapat mo submit. Naka-assign nga mag-submit. Sige lang kayo. Tanan, mga, tanan pang hitabuan mi na may generasyon. Very true. Diba? And so, we're still proud of ASP oh. because daog jud gihapon mi, Ana. Lalaban lang. Ikaw, sir. Ang ako nga pangutan na diri. Ano wala si Ronald Butalid? Ano wala ko sa UDES? Wala ko sa UDES? UDES? Because, kuhaan man ka nang, two weeks ago, or last week, last last week, I was invited by the Department of Tourism to talk about festival management sa Dapa, Siargao. So, shout out sa Dapa, Tourism, and Culture Council. Hello sa itong mga, kuhaan na, mga friends ng Taka Tourism. Tapos, at the same time, ka nang murag, ah, Pwede man nga mo stay ko dito kay online naman. So dito na po ko ni stay with my sister. So shout out po sa Agrivet nga nagbuhi sa ako dito. And then nagbakasyon ko for a while pero nagklase gihapon ko kay mm -hmm. online man. Para po sa akong mental health. Okay. Para ma-align po akong mental health. So kumusta yung mental health sir? Okay, ragid ka ayo kay naka-relax, naka-rejuvenate and then nakahunahun ako og tarong, nakahinuklog og tarong. Mura mag ka nang Mura mag Semana Santa akong padulungan oy. Okay ra na, sir. Okay, okay, reflection na. man ginaw oh. dapat for me. Ana. Oh, oh. So, sir, speaking of mental health, yes, today's man, episode... Ay, sa so, uyon sa man to ng mental health. Pero, <laughs> pero, <Hala? Okay. laughs> later na ni to bagon. Mm -hmm. Because uh, today, in line with kato akong historia, we are going to discuss about what is... <laughs> mo to siya, about <laughs> mental mm -hmm. health. So, and me, what is mental health para sa mo as a student? Um, as a student, sir, I... Sa una, dili man gud or kanang murag vague kayo ang idea of mental health kanang feel nimo okay ka ana lang. Pero karon mo gud daghan na kayo og kanang certain emotions nga mo kalit og pop up no kanang mo surface lang sila og galit. So for me, mental health is imuhang the way im, the way ka you function ba kay sometimes you feel unmotivated bisan na kay energy na na pero unmotivated ka because daghan kay nag-run sa imong mind or gina-overthink ni mo ang tanan nga maapektuhan na dayon ang imong supposed nga routine or gadi naka-productive ba? Yes, ano? especially sa atong personality nga kanang bibo o sa yes. pero wala ta mm. side deep inside <laughs> na ating mga problems nga maula pud ta mo share so yes. mo na siyang iampo, ikuan, i-relax yeah. ang atong mga panghuna-huna. Pero di man na pwede nato mabuhat nga mo share ta sa atong mga students nga kita ra kay kita pud mismo na pud problem. Ben Very true, Mental and sometimes, kanang, especially sa mga kanang topic bitaw na ingon ani sir, dapat sensitive yun po ta. Because sometimes we think na we're giving the right advice, pero to dili, 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 dili. Uh, sometimes diba mo resort to toxic positivity, which cannot really help the mental health of other people, diba? So, today, we have a special guest. Ay, na, di, ay. Hmm. 
Nothing oh, not special, kita. not a mm. super special guest. Correct. Okay, please, and me please introduce our guest for this morning. Ayan, kanina rin ni siya ready with her kape. Mm -mm. So ladies and gentlemen, our special guest for today is a psychiatrist from the National Center for Mental Health and is currently assigned at the Mental Health Division of the Department of Health. She is a fellow of the Philippine Psychiatric Association, a member of the World Health Organization Initiative for International Mental Health Leaders, and a member of the E-Mental Health International Collaboratives New Zealand. She is also a member of various technical committees of the Philippine Council for Mental Health. Prior to her assignment at DOH, she was the head of Strategy Management and Linkages Unit and head of Special Concerns Office of the National Center for Mental Health. She has been a resource person to government and non-government organizations for different subjects related to mental health. She was a humanitarian crisis responder who worked for distressed overseas Filipinos and during the Marawi siege where she was accorded the Lingkod Bayan Award. Grabe, sir. I'm so amazed. And I believe that she will be helpful sa no, atong mental health today. I believe the children in our, our future. future. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, her interests include mental health and psychosocial support, social determinants of mental health, workplace wellness, public mental health, and migrant mental health. So I believe na karong adlawa malamdagan kita. Magiyahan. Yes. And of course, um, ma-enlighten. Ladies and gentlemen, to help us all elaborate and talk about the topic for today, let us all welcome with a resounding virtual applause, Dr. Agnes Joy Casino. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, from the online world. Ayan. Hi, Doc. Hi, Doc. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. May buntag sa tanan. So, thank you for the kind introduction. So, sunagi dahi ko sa inyong tunga, no? Sa yes, yes ka, Doc. <laughs> okay, so thank you for the kind introduction again. And it's good to to talk to you no, na, now because I'm actually from, from Agusan del Norte, so this is close to my heart. So, and, and I really made time for, for this one, so with the invitation. And, of course, thank you because... Uh, for of this opportunity and it's really very important our mental health right now so as you were discussing earlier this is very important that with the recent ano no, yung passage of the mental health law or enactment of the mental health law you are actually required to have a mental health program in schools and universities wow. so i'm not sure if you're aware of that but uh, yeah so you are required so this is also uh, really for for you guys so Ayan, so let me share my screen so that I'm um, Take yeah, it away, so Doc. Red, uh, people no watching? Yes, we have a lot of viewers today. Invited yung mga Ayan. viewers. Truly. Because I'm um, uh -oh. concerned so, sa ato ang guidance. Ayan, take it away, Doc. Go. Uh -oh. So I hope also that the younger, I don't know, the younger, well, the, ano sila, no, yung mga, the 18 and below kasi na, na ay mga senior high right so i hope they are with their parents because i actually prepared this uh actually prepared the lecture not just for not just for students no not just for you for college students and and uh yung mga high mga senior high or yung mga younger students but uh, of course, uh, this is also prepared for the the faculty and staff of of the university. So I hope you will find this uh, interesting and helpful too. So I will be talking about students' lives during the pandemic. So coping with COVID's negative vibes. So why is it I, I included here? You know, in the next few slides, I actually included. No, because I have this in mind that my my target audience will really include the faculty and staff and also the parents because when we when we talk about student. Hindi lang kasi sila. It's not. Uh, it's not. We, we don't talk about. I don't know. Silos. Hindi lang sila student. But they are they are daughters, they are sons, they are some siguro no the maybe nanay mga anak sad, so they're mothers or they are fathers also. So ganun kasi sila and they're also sisters and they are granddaughters and grandsons and brothers. So 
So I have included uh, everyone here in my in my lecture. But later on, if you have uh, ano no yung yung questions that is really focused on your life being a student, then we will entertain the questions, of course. So this is actually Shaya. She's 16 years old and she's from Metro Manila. So around April this year, so it's 2021, no? Uh, sorry, I cannot see properly my slides. <laughs> there is something wrong. Yeah. Around April 2021, I had a mental breakdown to the point where I asked myself, what are, my, uh, what are all my efforts for? I felt like the bright future I had was getting dimmer and dimmer. And I also kept wondering why our situation, this pandemic, was just getting worse. So, money ang thoughts no, na gishare ni Shaya. I don't know if you can or if you resonate with how Shaya is feeling or yeah, or how she felt. No, because of course, different ang situation in you there from, from the situation in Metro Manila. But Naabot sa ba mo sa point that you were asking yourself para asa pa man yung ano mag-muskwila mag, mag, pa So, have you had that thoughts uh, also? Especially yung katong mga graduating or even siguro no, katong nasa mga graduate school or mga ning graduate na no, from university. Especially katong mga bago nga graduate from K-12 to na program. Bago pa ka nakagraduate and yet you, pa ka nakapangita og work and pandemic happens. So, uh, so maybe you also have your own thoughts no similar to Shaya or probably different from from what she is experiencing people were saying that we're on the same boat in this pandemic but actually we are not we are just in the same ocean but not on the same boat because if you can if you uh, come to think of it uh, so we had different experiences, we have different situations at home, or we have different no capacities also. So some people siguro dako kailang barko no mga luxury ship. Some people siguro kailang baruto ra sila, or even others perhaps basin ka nang naglisod na sila ang lang way just uh, in the ocean no of 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 this pandemic. So lahat. All of us were thrown into that ocean, pero lahi ta. Ang uban siguro nagsalbabida ra. Ang uban nakabamboo raft, no? So lahi ta o That's why, that's why it's very important that we that we understand also, uh, no? And we we have we give empathy or we empathize with others because we are going through, uh, uh, we are going through the same pandemic, but we are we have different ano, no, capacities and different uh, uh, situations in life. So uh, basically, uh, the, we will be talking no, in the next few slides kung kinsa daw ang most affected by the pandemic. And generally, we categorize those people affected or mostly affected by the pandemic into those who are affected because of, uh, you know, of health reasons, those for uh, undergoing uh, 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 difficulties or challenges because of economic reasons, and those people who are undergoing challenges because of social and cultural reasons. Ang associated with health, this is, uh, I don't know, siguro very familiar also with you. So probably it's not just you, no, a student na, well, ang, ang, ang concern lang is talagang going to school, attending online classes, and uh, siguro uh, doing your modules, not just that, no, but also, of course, for teachers also, they are, well, they have different roles also, they have different hats to wear. So, and, 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 um, Paano na if someone in the family get ano no, sick or na or you are a close contact to someone who is diagnosed with COVID. So ito, so sila yung uh, 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 those who are having distress because of health reasons. So those in quarantine or hospital due to COVID. So uh, maybe also you have friends or you have relatives that who are admitted. So or you, na siguro na naka istorya din yo and have their own ano, shares no of being isolated from from the rest of the family or and friends. People who are immunocompromised, the older people, so inyo mga lolo o lola, those with pre-existing uh, health conditions. So not just no mental health but also physical health conditions. So katong mga katong may mga hypertension, diabetes, so siguro sila, no, so, or na ay mga maintenance na mga tambal, tas di na, or na sila regular checkups, or those who are actually for surgery, di na sila maka sa mga hospitals. 
So because of, of fear, no, na maga pag-abot pa lang nimo sa ER, grabe na ang pila and you are just or 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 if, 'di ba? Karon di na pwede masakit kay wa nay wa na gyud magingon-ingon din sa Facebook, 'di ba? Na I'm not feeling well kay. At tuon jud kas sa barangay nimo if you you will post something like that. So it's it's ano, it, it is something that is causing distress, no, to 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 us. Those with uh, people with disabilities, so not just also physical na disabilities, but especially if you know someone or na ay sa household niyo na ay ADHD or na ay autism, uh, autism spectrum disorder. So that's ano no, that's that's also difficult. Okay, di na may yasha kanang na ay mga autism na mga na mga bata, especially or the even the older uh, the older ones na ay autism. They kind of have this ano uh, routine no na ilahang buhaton in life or every day there's a routine uh, activities or routine of activities but then with the pandemic di na sila makagawas or they don't have this uh they cannot go to or see their friends uh, anymore so ang um, what happens to them nagtatantrum sila sa sa balay and when they go into tantrums of course affected the rest of the family ikaw nga nag nagskwela naka online class ka tas nagtantrum yung mga brother or yung mga sister so it will also affect you and of course kung ikaw ang mama or ikaw ang parent sa bata na na, na magtatantrums so it, it's also getting difficult uh, especially if you are a teacher or you are on your online class so nag nagteach ka and then someone is do uh, ano no throwing a tantrum so that's difficult and that that will give you distress Of course, the healthcare workers and other frontline staff. So it also means katung mga police, or if your parent is a police or frontline worker, no, or 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 a nurse. So maybe at some point during the pandemic, kinahanglan sila mag isolate or kinahanglan sila no na ma quarantine somewhere else. So they are uh, having difficulties or challenges already. And um. The, the second group of people na very affected are the of, of, because of econo uh, economic reasons. So katung mga uh, workers of hard hit industries. So I heard kanina no si uh, sorry uh, Alan is it Alan? <laughs> sorry uh, I, I I didn't catch your name but yeah the gikan sa sa Shargao and I also read that Shargao has opened actually to to uh, to, to tourists. So at least de ba? So at least na nasa sila work. But they are the ones also no na, that are uh, affected no yung under sa nasa hospitality and tourism affected by job loss and unemployment so maybe some of you uh, um, parents or sisters kintahay your parents or sisters no sila ang nag-send to you to school and they are laid off from their jobs so syempre you will also be affected kay mo habang tuition so unsa una lang Reduce household income, housing instability, older workers. So, syempre, matahadlok, no? Katong mga age 50 and over. So, if you are a faculty member, but, but you are required to to have your classes or to, to report to class, then that's uh, something na, mahama. of course, it can give you fear and anxiety. Young people trying to enter the job market. So, as I mentioned earlier, katong mga K-12, bag or sila nang graduate. So, ang uban siguro, wala pa'y work. And of course, kamo na graduating. So what will happen to you? Have you thought about it? And so, mahapen ako magboarding sa pagkaku ani or next year pagkahuman pagkagraduate ka na ako ani na apa kaku trabaho or main tag ng nursing na lang puno or nasa ano no sa medical field para I will have a job or sure na job. So maybe these are the thoughts also that's but ah no that that are actually bothering you karon or siguro at some point in your in your life. Sole parent family, so of course they have to take care of the children, and while attending school or while, ang uban attending school as students ang uban kay nag 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 teach. So it it also ano no give them ah more than ah ah ano they can chew actually. So na naghan sa ilang challenges. Those are affected by social and cultural reasons. So. People who may feel socially isolated, so it's not just kay ang ang COVID mangod is not just no a physically isolating people, but actually it it makes a lot of people feeling socially isolated. So at some point mangod kay even if some people are living alone, no. So when they're alone, so sure, wala sila ka storya. But then there are also people who are living with others. Kuyog nila ilang family, and yet. 
kinahanglan sila mag-isolate if they are frontline uh, workers or frontline ano no, service providers. So, kinahanglan sila mag-isolate. Or if you catch COVID, ikaw mismo sa imuhang self, you will be isolated from the rest of your family. Or worse, katong mga nasa ICU. Of course, wala ilahang family or na hospital, wala sila kuyog. And unlike before, na sila kuyog. So if you have also seen that that I don't know that picture of a five-year-old kid nagikuha bitaw siya sa ambulance and she uh, that kid was alone kagidala siya sa hospital. I, I don't know if you have ano no encountered that one in your feeds. So siguro ako nakita niyo, di ba? People were reacting na hala five years old lang siya tapos kinanglan siya dalon sa hospital and and the kid was alone kuyog ang mga ano no ang, ang mga nagsundo sa iyaha sa sa ambulance. So, di ba, you can just imagine how how isolating that uh, that feels, no? People facing stigma or discrimination associated with the virus. Of course, pag ikaw ang ikaw ang nagkasakit tapos murag hala mo balik na ko sa work or mo balik or if, I don't know if you have classmates also na di ba na absent sa because nagkasakit sila or how if you have that, ang sabi niyo yung gibuhat ka as a class or ang sabi gibuhat as co-faculty members. So, did you check on your uh, on your classmates? Did you check on your co-faculty members or your staff? Did you, ano, kay, syempre, some of them halos, no? Halos sila gipahawa. Wala na sila, may, may mga uban, no, na they are really discriminated, especially in the early part of the pandemic. Di sila pwede mo uli, sila mga boarding houses or nasuko ang mga barangay or mga silingan because that that person is working as a nurse or in the hospital. So, yeah, so they are facing stigma. And those who have difficulty accessing digital tools. So this is very appropriate or very relevant to you because not all will have the, I don't know, have the, the digital tools. So maybe some of you have, I don't know, kinahanglan mag-share with a brother or with a sibling, isa ka laptop or or maybe some of you, siguro katong mga younger children, because we also saw that in social media, they have to borrow the phone of their parents, no? Para lang makapag makapag online class. And some of them even go to mukatkat sila o somewhere else, no? Bukid or they have to cross rivers just to have access for the internet. And of course, knowing that, uh, very well, very poor ang ato ang internet sa Pilipinas. And you can just also imagine if there are five of you in the household and three are uh, doing online classes while the parents are, the children are doing online cl classes while the, while the parents also are working from home tapos nagamit sa silang internet. And you can just imagine unsa ka, <laughs> no, ang bandwidth na inyong magamit and you have to share it with everyone. So that's that's also, that will cause a lot of stress, no, for 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 all of you in the household, na, in an, an a situation. Uh, in the Philippines, we don't have much study, but there is this, uh, 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 a survey done, no, in, in March to April 2020, so early part of the pandemic. So they actually have this uh, online survey of 1,879 respondents in the early phase of the pandemic. And among those uh, respondents, one-fourth of them actually great nila ilang self as having moderate to severe anxiety. And one-sixth of them report or great sa nila ilang self as having depression and psychological impact. So in any ang na happen in the Philippines. Yan. The latest one that I got is a, ano no, a comparative study. Sa, gi compare nila ang seven countries in Asia. Seven countries na, well, low to middle income countries in Asia. And they asked about 4,400, uh, they asked 4,479 Asians, no, using a questionnaire. Kung unsay na happen nila, how are they affected in terms of their own mental health and well being? So, ang, what the study uh, found out is that ang risk factors daw for adverse mental, uh, mental health during the pandemic include age less than 30 years. So, you guys belong to this one, no? uh, as students. With high education background. So, malamang nga, yeah, the, the students. And maybe, I, I can just imagine nga, kung bago kang graduate, and you're just starting out no, with adulting, tapos wa kayo makita na work. So, that's uh, that's uh, difficult there. That's a uh, challenge already. Single and separated status because, uh, as I said, they are more likely to feel isolated. So, so oh, hello, guys. So, so 
you can siguro pwede na mo mag-uyab-uyab because <laughs> high risk daw for adverse mental uh, health ang ang single or and separated discriminated by other countries so probably these are the ones known na di close ang borders so di sila makaadto sa other countries like you guys na di makaadto o Korea and uh, contact with people with COVID-19 so kadtong mga uh, direct contact or na na someone who are really naka experience with the with COVID-19 what are the protective factors naman found in the study for for this is for mental health no the protective factors include male gender staying with children or more than six people male gender um uh, this is this has something to do I, i suppose with the general there are other studies kasi saying that mas mas grabe daw ang stress sa mga women versus men Why? Because ang mga mga females daw kasi they're more attuned to their feelings. So sila sa to ang more of more open no about their own feelings. So sila ang sila ang mo uh, easy. It's easy for them to to tell people that I'm not feeling well or I I'm not mentally healthy right now or I am not in a mentally uh, uh healthy space right now. So sila ang open ana. And of course, kasi di ba the male, we have that in our culture. Well, Asians, we have that in our culture. The male is the, well, we are strong. We don't feel uh, all kinds of emotions or the negative emotions. So, sila. So, that's why I, I'm not sure how how they are asking uh, this part. Ha, but but in other studies, in ana ilang nakita. That's why it's a protective factor. And of course, female daw kasi has several hats to wear. So, sila ang affected because pagka nag work from home tapos or on, online schooling or nasa or ho- home schooling nasa balay sila ang usual na mutudlo sila mga anak so they have to wear those hats no being a mother being a uh, a working parent uh, be, uh, be magluto pa sila manglaba pa sila mamlancha pa sila and they have to teach their children at home so sila pa ang ilaha pa na sila pa tagatubag sa modules So they have to have this ano no uh, many hats to wear. So that's why also it I suppose that's why also it it cause, uh, causes more distress to or stress to to female. Staying with children or uh uh, or, uh children or more than six people in the same household. So mas mas lingaw ang mas daghan mo sa house because you get to talk, you get to to socialize pag ihapon no you you have that support and connection if you are if there are more uh, more than six people and probably a uh, protective factor if you have children because you have reason to to really strive harder kay nami mga bata so unsa man nimo lang dili nimo sila pakanon so you really have that motivation and like siguro pag uh, ako lang naman usa i have money naman so i'll just maghilata lang lang sa ko i'll just be absent so probably that's also the reason although it was not explained no in the study i'm just ano no uh, picking up some Uh, from previous studies kung unsa ang most likely na reason employment confidence in doctors high perceived likelihood of survival and spending less time on health information so kadtong dili adlaw-adlaw mag-check sa DOH na, na data so mas less sila na, na mas stress because di man sila kay makulbaan kay di man nila tan-awon pila na deaths no in uh, for the day or pila ang nagpositive so they don't mind those things so that's that's something that's protecting them also So we don't, as I said earlier, we don't really have this ano no uh, data in the Philippines. But what we have, we have this cri- uh, NCMH crisis hotline, which is a 24/7 uh, crisis hotline. So it operates not uh, every day, 24/7. Yung crisis hotline actually is something that 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 people can can call pagka na sila in distress sila or emotional uh, in emotional distress or some people that are really a uh, having suicidal thinking or thoughts so gibuhat siya for specifically for that so what we observe in our crisis hotline is that from 2018 we received 3125 calls but you see in 2021 and this is as of August 31 We already received 12,625 calls. So in ana siya kadaghan. And also if you see this no in suicide related calls in 2019 there were 23% of the calls so 712 uh, calls are suicide related while in 2021 as of August 31 tanaw na to siya 
na siya sa 33% ang suicide-related cause. So, 4,138 suicide-related cause. And mind you, uh, this is ano, ha, a national ano naman, na, na crisis hotline, so you can you can also call that. And mind you, we I, I think there, we also have this data na kung asa sila na region mostly, Caraga is not, I don't know, in, wala, wala kaayo ang call, callers from Caraga. So minimal siguro ang naa. And I am also not sure if if Butuan City or Agusan, because I... Uh, Agusan del Norte, the Sur or the Caraga region itself, kung you also have your data about suicide or even your school, kung naaba, no? kung naaba mo'y nabalitaan na nag, nag, ano, no, na, who, who died by suicide. So, the, in terms of the number or, or the age distribution of the callers, kutanaw na to ang pinakadaghan belongs to 18 to 30 years old. So from 1,709 in 2019, ang calls ng from 18 to 30 years old in 2021 is 7,355. So I suppose most of you belong to this age group, no? 18 to 30. So that's why uh, talagang your age group really are are very much affected. Kung titanaw na doon siya, no? Or maybe your age group also are, are really aware about mental health and you, you understand yourself na I'm not feeling well and you kind of have this uh, open no, na, na, na uh, thinking no, na you're, you're open to really reaching out for help. So pwede din siya na inana ang uisan. But it's the highest, the age group, no? Na highest na number of callers are from 18 to 30 years old. So while COVID-19 has been devastating, it has highlighted the importance of proactively recognizing our own mental health and well-being. So it also provides an opportunity to remove old thought processes such as stigma relating to mental health issues. And probably the reason why kamu mismo no, in the university you're thinking about holding a talk about mental health because you also feel no, or you recognize the need no, for, for you to check on your mental health and your well-being. So that's also one thing that I highlight with this pandemic. So that's that's a good thing because at least people are recognizing the need for for mental health no, and well-being. Now, the more important things that we we talk about it will be about healthy ways to cope with stress and anxiety. So maybe you can start. No, this this one this talk is a start uh, uh, for you to to have conversation about mental health. But of course, if someone is talking to you or nag-share sa imuha na sila problema and they shared with you kung sa ilang problema or the, the, the challenges that they're going through. So these are the things that you shouldn't be saying to someone na naka-experience of mental health problem. So kasi mostly or, or most of the time, Ma, ma feel nila no, na they are invalidated with their feelings if you say things like this. So just snap out of it or get over yourself. There is nothing even wrong with you. It's all in your mind. Uh, no one ever said life was fair. It's your own fault. So you blame pa nimo o imo manang salang ano bitong you stuck you are stuck in that uh, abusive relationship, for example, or or things aren't that bad. So, mas, mas grabe pag ganito akong problema. So, someone is telling you na, inaani, kay nagbuwag ko sa akong uyab and something like that. No? Tapos, marag, mu-end na akong word. Tapos, ikaw, kay, na, mas grabe pa mga ko na matay ang somebody, matay si Tito, and wala may kwarta. And so, so but instead of, of providing that healthy space for someone, so, nag-contest, contest the ini sa padaghanay o problema or distress. So, those things, no, if, if someone na, na, mo approach sa imuha and telling you about his or her mental health concerns you listen and do not say all of these things no so these are just some of the few things no that dili na to pwede sabi iingon siya or istorya or i yeah we uh yeah we we shouldn't be saying to to someone with mental health concerns so like, stop uh, stop complaining all the time or sus ka artist ad nimo oy sige kag post sa facebook about about your problem ka artist ad nimo we don't say that because ang tao ma feel niya na kanang 
ma-invalidate dili dini so ako ra day ni so sa ako ra gid dining mind so di dini tinuod so ma-invalidate iya hang feeling so the tendency is that the person will not reach out to other people and mag-isolate and that's when actually we will have problem kay mag-isolate naman siya so that that, that person will feel no na siya ra usa so she, he or he doesn't have any support at all so that's why we don't say those things So ngayon, what, what are we gonna do, no, in terms of uh, uh, our own uh, mental health and well-being? So I just uh, make this, I don't know, yung yung suggestions, no, in categories also. So depending sa kung kung asa sila, asa mo na group na belong. So for health and frontline workers, so siguro, well, teachers are also, uh, no, frontline workers. So uh, uh, what what can you do? So feeling stressed out is by no means a reflection that you cannot do your job. So you have to remember this one. So even as students, so it, there's time for you to sige tambay sa lang ko di sa lang ko magstudy karon or distan ako ni human na ako module or I, I still have time. So that's okay. Pero if if wa nagikagi human na module, that's already a different story. So managing your mental health is as important as your physical health. So very understandable. Try and use helpful and healthy coping uh, strategies to reduce your stress. So if you have, siguro no, if you have uh, observed last year especially, di ba, nahimong plantita ang mga tao, or they can just, uh, or na, uban nag-bake-bake, or uban daghan kayo nag-tiktok, or kung unsa may ilang gipang buhat. And it's even good for you, no, diha sa karaga, because you can go to the beach, you can go to the mountains, or you can go, You can actually you can socialize no uh, more than in uh, than other I don't know than than the uh, the rest of the country. That's really good for you. So, uh, medyo medyo it's an advantage because you you have those things. No, turn to your family, friends, uh, and colleagues for social support and know how to provide support for those who require mental health and psychosocial support. So, I hope that you also have no in the. In the, your university, I hope you also have your uh, guidance counselors and you make use of them also during this time. Na pwede niyo silang kaistoryahon. What, what you, di ba? Because ang ato ang idea of a guidance, no guidance counselor is that, hala, napatawag siya sa guide. sa guidance our idea is that it's uh, parang stigmatizing kay unsa kay iyang sala ano na guidance man siya but actually mo na siya nga guidance counselor kasi most of them they are really well all of them are really trained ang ilahang master ana is for you to to be helped out in terms of career decisions kung tama ba ni akong career tama ba ni akong choices and and for issues for mental health concerns uh, concern issues also so Muna ilang muna ilang job. So I hope you make use of of them kasi they are they can uh, provide healthy spaces for you too. Or maybe your group also or there is an uh, an org in the in the university that will also help no yung peer support. Maybe, maybe that's one thing that you can also explore. For older adults naman and care providers and people with underlying conditions. So siguro sa inyong mga parents, sa inyong mga tito, tita, lolo, lola. So these are for them, no? So provide practical and emotional support through informal networks. So kamo manawag siguro mo sa tawagan pud siguro ninyo sila or bisitahon. It, it's good, no? Some some kasi ang ilahang gibuhat kay they can be physically with their lolo and lola pero kana mura silang drive through na mo bisita bisa na sila gawas sa gate they say hi hello to their grandparents nga uh, naka isolate or naka yeah naka isolate from the rest of the family members so they do that instructions need to be communicated in a clear concise respectful and patient way so if we give instructions especially about bakuna o magpabakuna na mula lo tapos syempre you need to have clear no na uh, and it has to be res, uh, respectful na paghatag ninyo instructions klaro mo ni atong buhaton la i-register ta mo inani atong buhaton pa, during the vaccination mo linya mo inani eh, mo ni atong fill up and you have to bring water and stuff like that so you give instructions also that that will help them Activate your social contacts to provide with uh, you with assistance, so especially with accessing medication. So, kamo siguro maybe not really or di wak kay mo na wak kay mo na task or maybe some of you are really tasked na since ikaw man ang an ikaw man ang mas bata dere so ikaw ang mupalit sa mga tambal ikaw ang magawas gawas o ikaw ang runner na in the families maybe some of you mao na ilang role. Be prepared and know in advance where and how to get practical help if needed. So make sure you 
you have up to two weeks no all of your regular medications sa, sa mga elderly but of course di man siya true no for everyone because some naman talaga they don't really have that means to buy all the medications they will be needing but as much as possible if you have then you can you can or you should be i don't know saving for two weeks of medication learn simple daily physical exercises to perform at home in quarantine or isolation so exercise so very important also for those who are parents so sa mga siguro sa teaching staff natin no so parents or even students na nanay mga anak what you can do you help your children find positive ways to express feelings such as fear and sadness or katong mga bata or mga students na naadiri karon maybe you can talk to your parents also kung how you're gonna cope or an unsa inyo hang feeling karon na na stuck at home mo for for more than a year na, na naka online classes mo or if you are asked to go back to face to face classes are you willing to do that or unsa kay inyo hang Kamo personally, unsa inyong na-feel about going back to face-to-face classes? Avoid separating children and their caregivers. So, as much as possible, no? Dili na to sila buwagon. But of course, there are certain uh, measures that we need to practice. So, usahay, wala yung choice. Maintain familiar routines in daily life. As I said, especially katong wala mga autism, as much as possible, i-maintain ninyo unsa ilang buhaton. So, at this time in the morning or even kayo as students no dapat ma-maintain siya your your routine so i have a class at seven o'clock so so you have to wake up at six o'clock kahit bisan ara ka sa house and you have to take a bath you have to eat your breakfast before attending your class so i hope na maintain na ninyo kasi otherwise you will have trouble no kay kay naanad man ka na hala mo mat- naara bitaw ko sa balay online na bitaw ni bahala magkagidlay ko so you will also feel bad no na not looking good or not parang physically di ba parang narag since naara ka sa balay nag online class ra ka so wa kay wa kay ilis-ilis so di ba that's that's also something na maka-down sa ato ang <laughs> feelings So discuss COVID-19 with your children using honest and age appropriate ways. So most likely children now no are learning naman about the virus. So I hope you also you teach the younger ones no why they need to wear their masks when they go out and why do they need to wash their hands often. So siguro uh, and I hope naman by now natudluan na sila and hopefully also you all get vaccinated. For people in isolation, katong mga na close contact na naka-isolate, you stay connected and maintain your social network. So, kamo, pwede mong reach out sa ilaha if they are in isolation. You keep things in perspective. You pay attention to your own needs and feelings. You exercise regularly. You keep your your regular sleep routines and eat healthy food. It kani, di ba yung ang help uh, regular sleep? Because I I understand ang mga bat mo na wala nang shy boundaries na unsay day unsay night because you are just on your or well on online so how howid ang phone bisan maghigda or padung natulog howid ang phone or tablet so like like it's still kana bitong uh, parang murag naka on ka forever no connected to the to the social uh, media or to to internet so you're ganon so you have to have that na paggabi na oy matugta and aning urasa regularly seek information updates and practical guides no at practical time uh, at specific times of the day so not all the time that you are checking the news but make a uh, make a certain time lang na hapon nagig ko or even your your social media i will have a social media break so or even your di ba naka online class mo so sige i should have this detox also digital detox sa sa ako ang day as students so what are the healthy ways to cope with stress so know what to do if you are sick so uh, siguro by now you already have this no especially you also know no to contact your health provider or some people now ang ang nahimo nil ang gibuhat nila ay dili na lang sila mo contact sa Bihort no sa so, katong sa barangay kay mahadlok man sila kay if, if they tell the barangay na naay isa sa ilha gihilantan sa house i quarantine man sila din sila makagawa so di na lang sila mo, mo, mo sulti so naa sila sa house ang uban kay they really get severe covid so too late na dalon sa hospital pag abot nimo sa hospital wala pa jud kay wala pa gyud say bed so ayan so it will uh, add up to your stress 
know where and how to get mental health treatment and, and other support services. As I said, sa inyo ha, make use of your, your guidance uh, counselor or the guidance office no, for have that the counseling and therapy. Take care of your emotional health. It will help you think clearly and react to urgent needs to protect yourself and your family. So, unsa kayo kay imuang na-feel, karoon you take good care of that, no? your, your feelings, na ma-manage ni mo. Kato mga negative vibes, you try to handle them. Take breaks from watching, reading, or listening to news stories, inclu- including social media. Especially if you open your Facebook, tapos tanan ni mong makita dito, no, kay kanang nahimo ng kandila or na-block na ilang mga profile picture. So, it, it abi na to, wala siya effect to us, but actually, it has an effect to our mental health. Di lang ni mo siya mapansin mo, kalitra day kang kairitable. Because you get to see a lot of negativities, no, in the, well, in your limited space now. Well, Actually, hindi siya limited space, but more wider space now na online na space, no? Digital space. Dili siya limited na actual real world space, but in your digital space, wider. So, medyo stressful din siya. So, take care of your body. So, you do meditation, stretching, yung mga inana, deep breathing exercises. You can check out Spotify. And there is also on Netflix, you can you can watch you know, how to meditate. You can do that also. And, um, of course, ano, sa, ano, kanang, praying the rosary is one form of meditation. So, it will come down. Uh, it will help you center and balance yourself because it's one kind of meditation. Try to eat healthy. Of course, it's very uh, ano naman requirement na, na to karon especially that we need to boost our immune system. Exercise regularly for endorphins. Get plenty of sleep because pag uh, kulang sa tulog irritable. Avoid excessive alcohol and drug use. Well, you cannot do drug use talaga, but avoid excessive alcohol. So make time to unwind. So ayan no, pwede ka maging plantita or you can you can find your own kung unsa makapahapi ni mo. But Uh, hopefully, it's not about binging on Netflix, no? Delay siya na, na mag-K-drama all the time. Because that's that's passive kasi na unwinding. So, that's something that that's really not very helpful for us. Connect with others and connect with your community or faith-based organization. So, you can also, siguro you can also reach out to your, ano no, to your church, to your parish, ano, uh, sa kung taga-asa mo. And you can help out kung, kung sa kahi pwede ni mong matabang there. So there's what we call psychological first aid. So ito lang siya. So I hope you you also have been uh, aware of this one and some of your faculty siguro have been trained for this one because I know that DepEd and SHED, they are actually part of our mental Philippine Council for Mental Health and they have to come up with guidelines no for for to to instill mental health and well-being in schools and in universities. So I hope no that, that some of you have been trained uh, on this one or you're aware. Lumapit at kumustahin ang individual that's L tapos intindihin ang kanilang mga nararamdaman so you un- try to understand to empathize how people are feeling. So, nararapat na mga pangangailangan ay dapat tugunan. So ano yung need of, of the person? Maybe it's something even the ayuda from from DS, DSWD that's something that will actually address no kay ang concern sa mga to lockdown ko so, or not just ayuda from DSWD but ayuda also from the LGU the local uh, government. No, kung lockdown ko wala ko'y pagkaon diri sumagutom ko so that that provision of of ayuda is something that that helps people no na i at least din ako magkabuang og pangita kung asa ko mukaon or you if you have someone no family members or friends na na isolate it's something no na maybe you can send out some grocery or pagkaon sige padalhan ti kag pan diha or something that's something na makatabang sad sa ilaha kay ay some, somebody cares No, so gabayan sila ng tamang information. So this is very important if your school has this also drive, no, and infor- yung information drive also na um na uh, in an in ma update mong tanan. So I hope you have that too. Agarang pakikinig sa kanilang mga kwento at karanasan. So this is what I'm uh siguro I can suggest that you you will have no a peer support sa among your your students or among the well the younger lear- learners also. Pag-aasikaso at wastong pag-endorso sa mga ahensya. So you know when to refer to to DSWD or asa ninyo itawag kung, kung kintahay nagka, nagka-COVID or naay symptoms and asa ninyo sila itawag. So that's ano, that's already psychosocial uh, support. 
So, or yeah, psychological first aid. Now, building a self-care and uh, resilience plan because COVID kasi will, might stay no, for a longer time. So, the timeline is, well, next year or up to five years daw. So, depending siya kung ay mga variants and depending how, how people are responding to the vaccination program of the government. And one of the lowest no na uptake for vaccination program is Karaga. I think number two siya sa, from the lowest. Being the BARM as the lowest, murag ni sunod ang Karaga. So, dili kayo nice ang vaccination in Karaga. So, mm, that's something also na medyo nakaka-worry from our end at the Department of Health. Okay. Siyempre, parang sumadugay dahi tani kay the more herb, the more people are vaccinated also the more also mas dali sa dunta tan na maka move forward with our well, well from the restrictions na, na that we're having so how are we gonna build self care and resilience plan so first you evaluate your coping skills so how are you coping now you identify your self care needs is it something lang ba na ang self care needs mo ay pa beauty pampering yourself or is it something ba na about your emotions to check your emotions having uh, enough support so pwede siyang inana no ang imong self care need so you understand yourself better so barriers and areas for improvement so you reflect you examine and you you replay so for example magsige sila inom or you saw your parents and nagsige na man siya inom oy kay nawad-an man siya og work so maybe you also talk to them no in a well in a nice and respectful way you talk to your parents na naunsa day mo na ano mo problem so because if na mo problem maybe maybe i'm I, i'm adult i'm old enough to understand maybe i can also help so you can also reach out to them and create your self-care plan. Ano ba yung, uh, yung daily na self-care plan and your emergency self-care plan? This might be something na medyo hala kalisod sa anin niya buhaton ay. But, but this is something that will be helpful. Maybe later in life, maybe this can help you. Maybe not now, but maybe later in life. So if you have I don't know if you have trouble with sleeping or in crisis emotional crisis psychological crisis you can call the National Center for Mental Health crisis hotline so ito as i said this is a 24/7 crisis hotline so there are people at the end of the line who are actually willing to listen to you to to provide an ear for you so the number is 1553 or this one no 09 uh, ito 917-899-USA. So this is the our ano number talaga. And the 1553 it caters ang mga of um up to 10 no maximum calls na 10 at a time. So pwede nilang ito kung busy need these numbers, you can call this number and it's toll free. Of course, ang mga mga eh, kani sila, syempre na i charge no sa inyo ha, sa sa provider. You can also follow them on Facebook and sa Image Crisis Hotline and on Twitter and sa Image Hotline. So for for more information, and there is also the DOH Regional Crisis Hotline. Di wala ko kabaw sa exactly ang number nila, but DOH Caraga has has this helpline also that you can reach out. Maybe I can give it to 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 Dr. Gamos no later kung ano unsay number sa Karaga but you can also use that make use of that well people can actually bounce back and human beings are not passive victims of change but we are active stewards of our own well-being so it's about knowing ourselves knowing when to ask for help and knowing where to get help so mo na siya ang magmatter uh, now for how we how we actually manage our mental health and well-being so with that, thank you so much for your kind indulgence and for your time. I hope this talk is uh, well giving you some eye opener, and I hope that uh, you have uh, ano no na mo na napulot out of this talk. Kasi syempre, it, it's it's almost two hours, and I hope you have uh, ano you also gain something from this one. So with that, thank you so much, and yeah, I'm now ready to answer your questions. Ayan. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, yes. Dr. Agnes Casinio, for that very informative discussion. Salamat yes. kay Dr. Daghan Mignal Learn. So we would like to invite everyone to please comment your questions. 
Eh, para mapangutanan ni ma'am, nga murag ka ng dissertation. So, <laughs> para ma-defend ni ma'am. Para ma-defend ni ma'am. <laughs> But, uh, you can ask your questions because of course, although grabe ka, elaborate uh, and comprehensive sa presentation, na mag-gap mo tayo gusto i-clarify. Oh, so, ako sa'yo mag-utana mm. una. Uh, yes, go, ano, sir. Ako, dok, ako'y una mag-utana, dok, ka ng, um, maka-depress pa yun, dok, kung ka nang wala kay ka-chat. Charot lang. Char lang, Doc. Char lang. So, depende, no? Hindi, Doc. Seryoso kayo si Doc. Si Anmi rin, pangutahan na, Doc. Kung ano itong ako. Springboard. Doc, tubagas na ito siya, Doc. Kaya, murag, a part of me, gusto po ko mangutahan na. Kinahanglan ba? Sige, Doc. Tubagas na lang, Doc. So, oo. So, depende siya. If you, if, namang ibang tao ko that they're really introvert. So, they find, ano, no, meaningful activities or find themselves, no, meaningful by being alone or they refill their own energies by being alone. So, with nature or, basta they're alone, they're like reading or something like that. But there are also people who are really extroverted. So, ang ilahang energy, they feel fulfillment and contentment pag nasa like Astoria. So, depende po sa content sa chat. Kaya kung mangutang din mo ang tao, so gusto pa ka na kayo chat. <laughs> so it depends also the kind of conversation that you have or di ba usahay kay nabi sa ti usahay na bad trip kay kaani na person and then magsigi siya chat nimo so di na lang nimo gani siya or sometimes a scene zone or sometimes mm -hmm. it, you don't you ignore no the messages so it depends it's more of like the quality of the talk or the uh, chat true. that you have whether Again. in person or online So it's it depends on the quality of the chat. Of course, and ikaw sa personally kung ganahan ka sa person, but if hindi ka ganahan sa person, so it will cause you stress. Ah, so basic ka tong ni undang og chat, di gid to siya ganahan. Di siya ganahan. So unsaon to ba? Resort pod pagkuan ka niya. Yes, actually say actually silence means a lot. So it's not just silence means yes, but it means a lot. It's already a communication. So if na scene zone ka na or if wala na siya itubag-tubag ni mo, that means a lot. But of course, you have to check out, no? Kaya ba si Diag na lah? Ba si Diag nagkasakit na day siya or something? Karun kay, di ba, if di na ni mo, like the person before used to like post a lot, no? Or nag-tiktok siya everyday, nag-post siya everyday sa Facebook. Tapos karun kay, na unsa, wala na siya post-post. So maybe you can also reach out kay, ba si Nay na-happen to that person also? Or the person is going through something. So it's a two-way communication also. Hindi lang ikaw mag-huwat na, hala, tapos ka ng... Yeah, so you also have to reach out. Yes, we we have a question pa kanina. Let's go first with the question kanina ng atong na labi ano. Doc, how does one know if unwell ba ko no sila sa ilang mental health? Like any common and uncommon nga signs nga they are unwell mentally. Most of the time, ang ang ato mong kung like kanina, de ba? You were asking what's what's mental health. So unsa de na ang mental health. So we have this idea, mga God, na pag mo istorya ta about mental health, it's really about like kung makita ni mo mga taong grasa, katong mga psychotic na nagwild wild. So we have that thinking or mga some siguro no addict inana ang mga ang idea of mental health. But actually, mental health is not just the absence of a this a disease or a disorder. Dili lang katung mga ano no. Dili lang sila ang 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 mental health doesn't just involve katung mga diagnosed with depression, with anxiety, with with bipolar. Dili lang na. But mental health also con consists of, of how well we think, how well we function. So basically, there are three main functions of a man. So three areas of functioning of a man. Na na pwede natit natutan ao no na sa areas ba ni, am I still doing well or am I needing help na? So, one is intrapersonal. Meaning, kung sa'yo mukhang, how do you see yourself? Are you having problems with your self-worth? With self-esteem? With, do you have issues ba? Pagka, kintahay, in class, you feel really small sa class or you don't have a voice? So, inana ba yung mga na-feel? So, that's that's something that you have to work on siguro, no? Intrapersonal. The next is interpersonal. You used to be okay with other people. You you talk to to your classmates, you talk to your friends. Tapos, turun kayo nag-isolate na ka or nangaway na ka-permente. Or, or maybe, uh, irritable kay ka. So, tanan, imuna nang gibark sila. So, that's already a concern, no? Na, ano, na interpers in terms of inter uh, interpersonal functioning. Ay, sorry, balikan na nako ang intrapersonal. It's also it also includes how you take care of yourself. Like maligo pa baka every day, mag-ilis pa baka tarong or or 
bukaon pa ba kag tarong matulog pa ba kag tarong or, or wala na otherwise if wala na na imong imong tulog guba na kaayo imong day kay mahimo na siyang imong baliktad na imong ano no imong functioning so sa gabi e eh, although there are people naman good sad na night owls okay, pero pag kanabit ang dal, uh, shift sa una kay okay ra kay ko every more ano ko kana early riser gyud ko pero karon kay wa nagig kuy gana sigira kog higda so that's already something dysfunctional already so maybe you have some issues that you need to to ask someone no no you need to ask help from someone so that's intrapersonal then then interpersonal your relationship with others not just with jowa di shay nana but interpersonal relationship with your colleagues with your family members so appeal na siya interpersonal Or sometimes, because the people, it's also I don't know, a distress, a uh, mental health uh, condition. If tanan tao imo sa imong palibot kay sila ang naisalat, tas ikaw ang wala. So they're really like pag maabot ka maghalang, magkagubot kay sila. Tapos sa ikaw kay sila magini naisala. So you mm-hmm. sometimes we don't see it. So there is also a problem with that one. Na ikaw yeah. de ang cause sa kagubot sa mga tao. So that's interpersonal. And the third, very special, uh, very important na functioning na makahibalo ka or mabantayan ni mo na this is not okay na I'm not okay na is the uh, for for you it's being a student so unsa imong performance in school and for for most of the adults yung sa workplaces no or sa trabaho yung work naman it's not just about uh, as in as in nagtrabaho gyud ka for sweldo but sometimes well the self employed or how you are as a as a housewife or a house husband so how you are functioning in the family that's that's part of it so if there is a for example sudden na na, na crash or decline sa imong grades nganong di naman ko ano man ko motivation mo mo skwela oy nganong di naman ko di ko kasabot during lessons kanang wa koy masabtan even if i listen uh, intently to the lecture wa koy masabtan or even reading wa koy masabtan and there are all kinds of thoughts na coming in sa sa akong mind so that's already something na you na a sign no na you are not okay but it's it's for now kasi it, it, we have to realize that it's okay to not be okay correct Tinood. doc na may questions sa atong audience Good morning po. I have friends who opened up about their family problems. I didn't experience what they uh, experienced. So I was reluctant about what to reply. How can I help them po? Yes, Doc. Um, in this case, dili lang kanang, dili lang kanina situation. Like for example, some other situation ba nga, I may reach out to you for advice. Dili ka ka-relate. Yes. So, mm, so what's the best response? Or do we really need to respond? Or we, do we only have to listen? But at the same time, if mag-listen lang, put galain, put maras, ano. So what's the best way to mm, respond? Yeah, it's about no developing our communication skills also, and also because na amangu tayo lai lahi di ba na na perception of things depende sa ato ang experience so sakto sakto mo no na depende sa mo experience wala ka ka experience na di yun ka ka relate so kung mag for example no boyfriend no girlfriend since birth katas may istorya sa mo ha about breaking up about heartaches di yun ka 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 relate kay mo yung plano in life is to to serve God so di ko ka relate anang relationship problems so issues or something like that If you feel you are not comfortable or you are not the the, the person who the best person na maka give up advice to that person then you can tell the person na wait lang kanang kulang bit ako sa experience maybe kanang my my view of things will not help you out okay kay limited drama na akong view you can be as honest as saying that to someone but sometimes also you can ask the person no it will also help you can ask the person what do you want from me do you want me to listen lang ba or do you want me to comment on your on your problems gusto ba katabangan ti ka how to kasi sometimes man good sad the people who are talking to you about their own problems nangita lang na sila og kastorya so they yes. just want to they just want to let out unsa ilang mga ideas unsa ilang hindi pang pangbate kasi most of the time also we have our own capabilities to actually solve our problems it's just that sometimes it, it takes someone no na ipakita sa imo ha wait in ani mong gudin mong diistorya oh so what do you think you will do with that one So have you had also any problems before na in ani giun sa man tuning mo pag solve so sometimes that can help a person realize na ay o oh, ano in ani di ay to akong gibuhat sa una na kaagi man ko in ani so yan and be be honest kung di gini mo siya kaya kanang i cannot hold also uh, uh, ano no a safe space for you now so 
maglisod ko kay I'm also going through something. You can be as honest as that to, to the person. I hope na masabtan ko nimo but I cannot provide that healthy space for you now. So maybe mas makatabang na to, no ang 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 more adult or more experienced to, uh, than us. So pwede sa siya, you can you can do that. And siguro I can suggest that you have this peer support na you can have this group to discuss about things no issues in life. Na kay nami uban gud kung dili ikaw at least in a group na siguro someone there that who, who has that experience and who can have uh, also give the perspective for for the other person so so depende siya sa situation and depende uh, depende then how the person kay nami ubang person no kay kanang balat sibuyas diba pag maingna na nimo na sorry ha kanang di lagi na ko ni ma, di taka matabangan or nagdali magud ko karon pasensya na so di tika makasuyot is uban kay mahilak na so that's something yes. also na maybe the person really needs help gusto nga niya na kay storya maybe but if you are in a group so mas better kasi at least there's someone there no kung dili pwede ang usa at least there are other people also there so maybe you can also have that no or your yung mga orgs they can reach out also so kung wala mo kay storya pwede mo mag PM kang Sir Morris Mo Philip Uh-oh. Morris, put it mo say. Okay, sir, so, uh, doc, na po isang question. How can we break depression nga kanang kami-kami lang or just by ourselves? Di po kasi ugaling mag-share. Yeah, and aside ana, i-connect lang po nako sa question na akong na-read kagaina. How do they know if they are depressed kuno, doc? Because um ang uban magingon lang na depressed daw kuno, but actually they they depressed nya kinailan they sila i-diagnose. Oo. Oh, oh, o oh, kanang inana. So, unsa na nila pagkibalo if they are really depressed? And now this one, if they are, how will wow. they yeah, how will they kuan kuno cope up? Oo. Oh, oh. Sila sila lang. Oh, kanang sariling kay, okay. sariling sikap lang dog. Yeah, kay not everyone baya can open up agad-agad. Mm. Uh, yeah. So actually, ang depression kay napo siya level. So there is minor depression there is a uh, moderate depression and a severe depression so major depressive disorder so but when we talk about depression pag abot sa mo it's clinical so it's naa ka mo na criteria ma fulfill nimo ang mga criteria then that's depression already but sometimes sometimes kay ma, ma uh, say uh, ato lang uh, ato lang perception or ato lang interpretation of, of our feelings is na depressed when in fact sad lang di ka so it's it's important siguro no in your curriculum the appeal ninyo how to identify how to regulate your emotions yung mga social emotional learnings maybe you can have that no na kanus ang unsa you you label your your own feelings kay tama sakto man sila tanan sometimes kay suko ang isang isa ka tao pero ang ang anger ang 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 behavior sa isa ka person pero ang ang tinuod di ay because sad siya or na depressed di siya mo nang mugawas siya as anger or sometimes it's anger ang outward na manifestation pero yung person di ay is feeling frustrated or sometimes di ay it's because of grief na ay namatay or there's a loss no sa of something in, sa, sa sa person pero ang manifestation is anger so ta uh, tayo no as, as as individual we have to sit with our emotions so unsa gid ako na feel karon is it really depression do i have this hopelessness am i really helpless uh, am i really parang most of the days ba of the week or uh, because ang depression is like consistent siya and persistent imong mood na very low very down for at least 4 days so straight na four days, di nagkaganan mo bangon, you are hopeless, you are helpless, you feel really, really tired. Uh, sometimes dili makatulog or other person are oversleeping, dili naganahan mo kaon, what nagana in life. And especially if the person is thinking about nani suicidal thoughts. Ang suicidal thoughts is not just about mag maglaslas ko or magbigti or something like that. Hindi dili siya inana. That's already extreme. Sometimes the suicidal thoughts are just passive. So for example, kanang okay na gid na mamatay na ko or siguro mas happy sila kung mawala, mawala ko. So that's something already that that person is having this suicidal thoughts already or suicidal behavior or suicidal ideation. So kana nag mag-signal na siya that you really need support, that you really need uh, help. So maybe you can reach out. So una siguro in your sa guidance office you can do that. Kasi they are they are also trained no to 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 help you out. That's para ma-sort out kung is this really a depression or is this something na 
Okay, naman sa tayo faces, di ba? It's, it's usual, it's normal. Na we also go through sadness. We have this depressive faces. We have happy uh, face. May mga naman sa tayo own na faces. So it's okay that, that we go through that. But if it's persistent and consistent na being low, being down, and you are not able to function, then that's the time that you really need help. So you, you most likely, you, have, you are going through uh, depressive symptoms. Dok, daghan kay mga pangutan na, Dok, pero we cannot cater kay Murag Moon. Nilapas na to sa time. And anyways, if you need some help, if you need some advices, you can contact the FSUU Guidance Office, ang telehealth. Telehelp. Yes. Telehelp na to. So, nana siya nakapost na sa atong page. Yes, and also, katong gimension ni Dok, kagaina na mga hotline numbers sa ilahang national... Um, Wait, wait. My copy, my copy. Where's my copy? <laughs> Kata, yes. Oh, yeah. And sa ato ang telehelp. yeah, mo niya atong sa telehelp, the one that's flashed on screen. And ila doc nga kining center is for is the National Center for Mental Health. Ilang crisis hotline. Iya po tungi flash kaga I hope inyong nakuha. We'll also be um, posting some in the comments, no? Para ma mas daghan pataog mas makastorya and napoy maminaw sa ato a. Doc, daghan ka ayong salamat. Oh, balikan ka na mo niya, Doc. So, mag-announcement sa mi para sa itong mga mm -hmm. announcement for the activities this week. We have um, the Kindness Day is 2021. Yes. Um, ang theme nato is Be the Eye in Kind. That's, that's happening today until October 1st of 2021. We have face mask design contest mechanics. Number one. So, Monisha, ang Must, nasa atong screen. Do we need to read? Yeah. Ana? Marid, an, nana um, sa among niyo. Ah, nana sa among niyo. niyo. So, yes. basta ako lang. And then, mm -hmm. pwede mo mo join bisa sikin sa mga yes, students. Yes, you can join. Okay, so next of our announcement, we have... Uh, Be kind, wear your mask Thursday. Can you just, sir, ako ginigibasa gahapon pa lang din kayo. Maghimo mo good good ayon sa ako sa akong assessments also. Um, pag tanaw na ako, this Thursday we will be posting our selfies nga nagmask me to be able to, you know, show nga we are kanang yes, if, if and encouraging want, others uh, ba. If you want mm. to help if, if you want to help someone, please wear mask. That, yes. that is part of respecting Yeah, your mask people. is protecting me yes. and my mask is protecting you. Okay, Ayan. we also have the virtual pet therapy, therapy Friday. Friday. Yes. Mag picture so, me sa among mga pet niya. I-post na mo sa Facebook niya. Send in ang link sa Neo. Amen. Uh oh, <laughs> sige sige. Ayan. And we have more Do we have announcements? more announcement? Mm -hmm. Napapatay announcement? Wala na. And me, uh, before ta mga yung final word kang doc, mm -hmm. napatay mga kuan, uh, final word ni mo. F final word oh, na Before ta mga kang doc. Ah, okay. Um, sa akong na-learn karon guys, um, we all have to take good care of our mental health. No, we don't have to have depression to take good care pa of our mental health. I mean, um, karon pa lang... Ato na dapat ng ampingan because we don't want it to escalate, de ba? Like ato yung it take good care at ng self and we can start by acknowledging our emotions, our feelings, so that we can also kana bitaw ng makakopod da sa iya ha kaya if sigi lang nato siya idenay, sigi gud po na magkadako magkadako hangtod sa mo blow up na on our faces. So every let us take it like a step, a day at a time. A day at a time. Ayan. Ikaw, sir. Kuan, ka nang walay laing makatabang sa imo, kundi imo lang kaugalingan. You need to cope up with everything. And para sa ako, ha, ignoring negativity is a self-care. Sometimes, but sir, ignoring negativity is also negativity, man. You also have to face it. Dili, uy, kay namin usahin ang negative good nga tao, murag, mumu, sakit na kayo, so... Ignore ah, lang okay. mo na. Gets diba? na ko mo. You have to also choose your peace. Yes, Nato yung naingon kagayin na nga. Sometimes it's okay to think that you are selfish by, you know, removing toxic toxic people around you. Sometimes dapat po ni mo na ko ni mo self. Gets na ka. Yes, na so self-care ang atong kuhan. Doc, final word, gikan sa imo. Well, final word, yeah, final uh, message. <laughs> final, uh, final word, mukhang nabasa, good. Na, ma'am yeah. Suzette. Thank you really so much no, for the opportunity to, to talk about mental health, especially now that it's very important no, and, uh, for, for us. 
And and I'm glad to know that you also have your telehealth service. So you you have that uh, already. So that that's something that maybe you can also work on, and maybe you can have more programs for for mental health support for each other and well-being programs also. And and and, and I'd like to I don't know appreciate also yung mga the, the contest that you're having. That's something also that that people will look forward to, and people will participate. And very. Happy also that there is the yung animal, your, your pet, no, the, the, the contest. But actually, I'm also part of Community Tales. It, we use no, yung animal-assisted interventions. So we have this uh, emotional support animals that, that can help. Ho- hopefully, your guidance office also can uh, check on that. Mm-hmm. Siya. We, uh, I have a dog and... It, a, a therapy dog and part siya of the Ateneo na guidance na office. So, mm-hmm. every time na nai-exam ang, mag-exam ang mga bata, that the therapy dogs will be going to uh, to the school for for support, for emotional support sa mga students. So, that's siguro that's something that Sana you can also all. look into. Yeah. So, that's something also that you can look into. Baka pwede niyo yung Therapeutic po kaya na siyang apart. Yes, yes. It is. It is very therapeutic. So, yeah, that's something that you can, siguro, pwede ninyong i-practice. Uh, and uh, si- uh, the, the very uh, important thing uh, that we need to consider is that we have to have that, I don't know, uh, we provide healthy spaces for people. Not just on social, not just on our actual no, or, or physical na friends or atong makastorya or encounters, but also in social media because a lot of, of us, ang mga hang-ups nila sa life na nasa social media, they tend to gang up on each other. Di ba, nalay mo comment na dili ni mo, dili ni mo opinion or, or, or lahi mo views and you tend to attack other people. So that's already something that there's this microaggression, I suppose, in the in the culture or in the community. So that's, that's something that's very, well, for me, it's troubling because this is how it is eh, for for us now so we should have this healthy spaces na actual na to na space we should also have this adult that we can that can be our safe uh, go to person and we have this help we also provide healthy spaces sa ano na sa digital space na to. so just be kind be kind to yourself and be kind to others too kay lahi lahi ta og pang agian uh, lab, labi na this this time so with that, thank you so much again, and uh, well, good morning, <laughs> and uh, I hope you have your you enjoy the rest of the week, and good luck to all of you, sa mga students. Thank, thank you, you so, so much, Doctor Agnes Agnes Casino. Salamat kay sa mong time, bisag bisig ka, naghatag yapon kag time. And with that, we will be reading the certificate. Ayan, Certi- Father Saturnino Orios University Medical and Dental Clinic, Butuan City, Certificate of Appreciation is hereby given to Agnes Joy Casino, MD, for giving her precious time and sharing her knowledge and expertise as guest speaker during the FSUU Sunnyside episode, Are You Okay? Let's Talk About Mental Health, given this 29th day of September 2021. Signed, Engineer Zenaida D. Azura, Vice President of Administ- Admin and Student Affairs. Ayan. Thank you so much, Doc, for sharing to us a very important talk. Ako, amo na, i- amo na i-email yes. ang koan ang katong imong certificate. And attendance and evaluation will be posted on, on the, the descript- comment yes. box. On our like description box. The yes. I, sorry. And we would also like to thank the Urian community, our guidance um, office as well, for encouraging the students to join our Sunnyside episode today because I believe that ng estudyante ng inahanglan sa yes. support. Ayan. We, really need, we really need that. So, that's Salamat. And, and may we need to transfer from one place to another. Kinala Ayan. na transfer. Ayan. Ha. And na na mi diri and chere. Okay, Ayan. so this is our yes. the staff of the, the strategic team. communications office together with the guidance office and the medical dental. So the kang salamat.
Ayan. Shout out sa tami, shout out sa mga friends sa Sergao. Hello to Bugoy, Malin Ednan, Keith, Lexter, and Ate Jing. Salamat sa pag-take good care sa akong stay diha. Ayan, and shout out sa Tanang Orians no, na ni-participate sa ito ang UDIS. Shout out sa itong student leaders. Shout out sa ABCOM, akong mga my love so sweet. So, and kang Gov Marian. Uy, shout, pasalamat po sa mong t-shirt. Uy. What pagani ko na human? <laughs> and of course, I would like to thank FSU Strategic Strategics Communication sa ang t-shirt especially kang Ma'am Suzette and kaning t-shirt available pa ni siya for yeah. order worth 315 pesos and it's so worth it because na kay you know something to hold on to sa ato ang um, yes sa ato 120th na foundation anniversary. anniversary ako mapasalamat ko sa akong self sa pag SD ani salary deduction Okay, so salamat self sa pagsanana ko yung remembrance. And mangutana pa ako ka Ma'am Suzette at itong PE uniform. Daghi gusto mo malit itong PE uniform ng akong mga students. Okay, so daghang salamat. Um, on siya atong final say, this has been Sir Ronald Dalan H. Butalin saying, uh, stay positive, stay happy, and test negative. Wala, hadyo ko siya. Uy. And this is Anne Monique saying, akong ikwaon tong quote ni Dr. Agda saying, kagaina, we are in the, in the same ocean, but not on the same boat. So be the eye and kind. Ladies and gentlemen, salamat sa inyong pagtanaw o pag-uban sa amo. Karong Adlawa, magkita-kita ta susunod. O dalay ko ng Diyos! Bye-bye! Kaway, kaway! Kaway, happy. Merry Christmas! Ayan. Merry Christmas na lang! Merry Christmas! Hapit ng mga bonuses and all. <laughs> Wait, ako magic word daw. Ang magic word Ay, but, is... Ang satuan me? Coping skills. Okay, the magic word is coping skills. Okay, Nakalimot ko, sorry. Akong mga classmate deha tood sa niyo na si Sir Carl de Rio. I-check na itong mga oh, assessment. Kung gusto mo makikistorya kang Sir Carl, naara si Sir Carl, pangitaan si Sir Carl. Yes, and sirin na ang assessment. Love you all. Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.